This is a walkthrough video of 1321 Point Crisp Road here in Sarasota. We're on Siesta Key on probably one of the most exclusive streets, Point Crisp. This lot is amazing. It, it's on the water here. It's a, it's a large lot um, and it's a super large house that is absolutely gorgeous. Um, you come in through this beautiful driveway on these really nice pavers and you pull up into this courtyard. You have four large garages with four large garage doors. Basically both, they're kind of a mirror image of one another and they have a little breezeway that goes to the garage. Um, everything is just impeccable in this house. It is amazing. Um, the total square footage is 10,274 feet, but the amount under air is 6,575. That's because there are five bedrooms, six bath. Every one of the bedrooms has its own has its own balcony. So when I walk in, I just have this giant cathedral-like foyer. All the tile work is exquisite. Um, really nice mosaic, and just lofty, airy feel. I love the spiral staircase. The home is actually very homey um, in terms of its layout. And I guess I'll start right here and kind of give an idea of what the kitchen is like. We have a wet bar right here that is kind of opposite the wine cooler. The wine cooler holds over 300 bottles. It's climate controlled and it's, um, and it's beautiful. The kitchen itself is spacious yet it's very functional. We got two new dishwashers, a new kitchen aid. So the uh, current owner's done a lot of improvements um, throughout the throughout his time owning this. But just looking from right here and surveying across the kitchen, looking out across the water, it's just absolutely great view. So Point Crisp kind of sticks out into Sarasota Bay on the bay side of Siesta Key. We're south of the Stickney Point Bridge. And this, this home has uh, a new seawall with, oh, about 180 feet of, of seawall that's all new. You could put about 24-foot boat in the, um, in the hoist there because we have about three feet of water. But all the attention to detail is just magnificent throughout this house. It's, um, every, every aspect is just fabulous. Um, and it's very functional, and it's, it's just, like I said, it's a very homey, living, easy, nice place to be. One thing I want to point out is these large sliding doors, how they open all the way up. So when the weather's cool outside, you can open these all the way up. And I've always loved this where they come together and join and you have this corner. You don't have a pillar here. Um, you know, the under, under roof space is enormous. You have almost 4,000 feet of balconies. Outdoor living is, um, is just more than, <laughs> more than you need, but, that's, but it's never enough. The pool itself, the pool deck, is, is the same pavers as out front. Um, I like the travertine marble tile out there and all the, uh, along the balconies. Outdoor cooking, the dock, everything looks great in this house. So I guess I'll start, I'll start over here and just kind of show the laundry. There's laundry up and down both, both floors. But before I do, I'm gonna step out onto the pool area and just um, get a nice shot, sense of walking right out here. You can see there's just so much glass. It just lets so much light in. And um, the, the yard, the landscaping, the pool, the view, everything is just fantastic. And so to kind of give an idea of what's what, that's a bedroom over there with its own den. That's an office. I mean, with its own balcony. That's an office with its own balcony. Every room has its own bathroom, so it's, it, each one is a suite. And then this whole wing of the house up there is all the master bedroom and master balcony. And so from this vantage, you actually have a nice view to kind of see the interior. And um, I'm gonna say that that's 25 feet of ceiling there, and the fireplace is just amazing with I believe it's a limestone. It's, it's really nice. It's nicely done. It's, it's just beautiful. All the artwork and the decorations are also just perfect. I love the wrought iron railings and the arches really kind of give an absolutely magnificent feel. 
So I'm going to go over here and show kind of the, the laundry area. I'm going to show the what was the nanny's quarters and kind of get a feel for the layout. It's hard to kind of put it all together because there's so much square feet. But as I walk this way, I see the dining room. Uh, so formal dining room, plenty big. And these, these pillars just make it look so elegant and so nice. Just on this side of that, that's an elevator. So there's an elevator. I, I assume it probably doesn't get too much use, as, um, but it's nice to have that elevator. Out this door will take you to one of the two garages. And like I said, both of these garages are pretty much mirror image, but they're good sized garages. Um, actually, uh, the other one seems a bit deep, lots of built-ins. We have new ACs and new mechanicals throughout, and it's just, um, it's just fabulous. This is the one half bath, and I love the I love the um, vanity, and very elegant, and it everything fits really well. So this is a bedroom. I think this was a nanny's quarters at one time, and as you can see, it it has um, it has its own full bath and closet. So this is considered a bedroom, even though it's just being used kind of as a guest room. The laundry room, like everything else, is just immaculate. Beautiful granite, plenty of space to uh, do a whole bunch of laundry. And like I said, there was laundry on both floors. Before I go upstairs, I'm going to take a look at the other bedroom, the home theater room, and the den area, which is on this wing of the house. And I just, there's just all the detail, like the, like the trim around this door and going into the home theater, I mean... It's amazing how quiet it gets when you go in the home theater, but this comfortably sits eight people in your home theater, fully equipped, surround sound, all the latest technology, of course. So here we have, um, I guess we're going to call this a den or a TV room. This looks out onto the balcony, and of course it has its own bathroom here too. Everything is, has its own full bathroom. This is not considered a bedroom because it doesn't have a closet. Otherwise, that would be like a sixth bedroom. This door leads out to the other garage for this wing of the house. And this is just a mirror image of that other garage that we looked at. So this is one of the guest suites. And, you know, like everywhere else, the ceilings are 12 or 14 feet, I can't even, I certainly can't reach them, but they're just beautiful. I love the tray ceilings in every room, and I love the fact that everything has its own balconies. All the sliders are not uh, 8 feet, but 10 foot sliders, so it just lets in so much light from outside. This suite has its own bathroom, of course. A full bath and each one is a little different it gives a little different character to each one of these bathrooms but they're all fabulous At this point I'm gonna go upstairs and I'm gonna take a look at uh, the two guest bedrooms and then finally the master bedroom which is overwhelming and just absolutely beautiful but as I go up the stairs here you can kind of get a get a feel for the scope and the vastness of this of this great room here and it's just absolutely beautiful also upstairs is a, um, another den, or an office we'll call it, but this is where that elevator would come out. And so that's the elevator, and then I believe there's another closet over there. A little linen closet, and I guess I went right to the master bedroom. I couldn't resist, because this bathroom is just overwhelming. It's just absolutely beautiful. You know, you can take a shower with you and four or five of your closest friends. And um, yeah, that is just fabulous. I love all the marble. Everything is just perfect. And the bedroom itself, of course, has the best view in the house. We have a, apparently a hers closet and a his closet, which is slightly smaller as it should be. But take a look at the ceiling in this room. I just absolutely love it. It's so, it's so intricate and it's a huge room. Huge room, lofty, but I guess this is what it's all about. Right here and waking up and seeing, seeing the water, seeing your boat, and just an absolutely beautiful view of Sarasota Bay. And again, these doors open up all the way. You have your own outdoor balcony here that 
comes all the way to over there. And, and looking across, we can see uh, the balcony for the other two bedrooms on this floor. So, like I said, everything has its own balcony. Surround sound throughout the house. It's all, it's all the latest, greatest um, in terms of technology. So we're coming back through to the main great room here. And um, I like how they have that window just to let in more light, see more water. And just all the, all the ceilings, I just keep looking up at these ceilings and they're just fabulous. Absolutely gorgeous. Here's a shot of the, of the foyer to kind of give you an idea. It is vast. It's just a little TV game room here and um, about the same size as that other office. It could be another office. And then this is a guest bedroom. And this guest bedroom has its own bath, which is fabulous. Um, and like I said, they, each one has its own unique characteristics. Of course, it has a walk-in closet. And then this would be a utility room with laundry upstairs here. But also the mechanicals are in that room. This room is similar in size and shape to the one downstairs. Um, another guest bedroom with a great view and its own porch area overlooking the pool and the boat dock. Walk-in closet and yet another unique type bathroom. Everything looks great. So this is Point Crisp. It's a fabulous house. Um, one of the most, I have to say, one of the nicest houses I've, I'm gonna say one of the nicest houses I've ever seen. This is fabulous. Certainly on Siesta Key is, what a great location. So I'm Jules Roman with Yorkshire International. Thanks for watching.